In this episode, we're going to show you step by step how to install these version 2 mirror lights from Freedom Retrofits and how to wire them to function as turn signals. We're going to get to it right now. Modifying a Toyota for adventure travel? Looking for tips on camping, off-roading, or overlanding? Maybe we can help. Because a wire has to be run from the mirror light down to a spot behind the dash, wiring them to also function as turn signals may be a little intimidating. But believe me, it's really quite simple, just a little time consuming. To run that wire, we're gonna need a clear path from the mirror down to this spot behind the dash. First thing we have to do is take this door panel off. Before we do anything though, we need to roll this window all the way up. You'll thank me later. There's two screws we have to take out, one here and one here, and they're hidden behind these little plastic panels. We'll pop them out with the screwdriver. Then we need to take out this little fastener right here. To do that, pop in that little button in the center, and then you'll be able to pry that right out. Then take a tool like this, or a screwdriver will work too, and get that between the door panel and the metal door, and pry out. And that, it sounds terrible, but trust me, nothing's breaking. That's just the fasteners releasing. Then just pull it and release all those fasteners here at the bottom. And I think there's one over here on the side. And then go ahead and pick straight up on the panel because there's this little lip at the top that fits down inside the door. Now there's a couple of things behind the panel that we have to take off in order to get the panel completely off. These are the cables going to the lock and the uh, um, door latch and the wires going to the electric windows. To get these off, it's really pretty simple. We'll start at the bottom one and pull it out of that little channel there that, that this green uh, thing is, is down in. And then move the cable up here and it's hard to see but you'll find this, whoops, there it is. that's how easy it comes out. There's a little channel right here that you can get that wire up and get that ball out of that mechanism. Same thing up here at the top. Pull this white thing out of there and move your cable so that that wire comes out through that channel and the ball comes right out. Instead of fighting to try to get this wire plug out of here, we're gonna actually take this whole assembly and take it out from the other side of the door panel. And there's a little clip at the top here. Press that in and push and we'll hang the panel back up there and this is a whole lot easier to get this plug out. I just realized something. We don't actually have to unplug this here. We can just take this, turn it sideways, and just push it through the hole. So, it is now completely off. And there's our controller hanging there. This black panel here has to come off. That's 10 millimeter. Then we have to take the mirror off and to do that, you go through where that black panel was and there's two bolts at the top and one bolt at the bottom and those are all 10 millimeter. Take those out. We need to unplug the mirror. To do that, you push in this little tab here and that plug comes right out. Now we can take the mirror off. Just like that. Now this piece here at the bottom of the door in the door jam has to come off. Weather stripping has to get released from there. To do that, just take your tool or a screwdriver. There's a couple little clips behind it that hold it in place. Those little pink clips. Those come out. And then there are two bolts back here 
they have to come out. They're 10 millimeter also. And you're going to find a piece of tape right here holding this on. Just cut that. And there's two tiny clips holding this white plastic on, this white plastic plug. Release them. Oops. Come on. And it comes apart like that. Uh, the, what's called a dead pedal right here, this has to come off. And these come off really easy, a little too easy sometimes. And then there's a little fastener right here. Unscrew that. This kick panel here comes off really easy. It just snaps in place. I usually just pull it off at the back, pull it out a little bit. It is underneath the uh, threshold panel right here a little bit. So you just pull it and pull it out from underneath there, just like that. And now look at all that mess. The kit comes with KC LED lights with the optional amber lenses. We're going to be putting these on. The way that I find is easiest is to take two of these tabs, one with your thumb, one with the finger, and squeeze them. Then take a small screwdriver and get in between the lens and the case and pull them apart like that. And the other lens goes back on. Same way, line up those three tabs and snap it in place. On these supplied wiring harnesses is the control module. This will dim the LED lights down to a street legal level and allow for the turn signal option. Probably the most important part of the kit are these brackets. These will make the lights fit right and make sure they don't fall out at the first bump. With the KC lights comes these short little pigtails with corresponding plugs that will go into the wire coming out of the light. These are going to make it really simple to disconnect the light just in case we have to take it out later on sometime. We'll connect this side of this wiring harness to these lights coming out of the light with these supplied butt connectors. To use these it's really simple. Just take one Put it over the wires like this, and this one too. Slide it back, and take your wires, black and black, and twist them together. Like that. Then, slide those connectors back over and get this silver ring right over those wires that you twisted together. And that's a little bit of solder. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a heat gun and heat these up. And you can also use a lighter or even a really hot hair dryer. And what that's going to do is going to melt the solder into that joint holding those wires together. And it's going to shrink the rest of this tubing down and make it waterproof. previously replaced our mirror lights with Freedom's first version. At that time, we threw out our factory lights and the brackets. So we're going to do a short flashback showing how we removed the mirror and the factory lights back then. Then we'll come right back and show you how to wire the new ones in. First thing we need to do is get the mirror out of the housing. To do that, we'll turn the mirror all the way out. Then. Tilt the mirror all the way in at the top. Then take a flat screwdriver and put it up behind the mirror, right at the center of the mirror, up about an inch and a quarter, and then twist. Don't pry, just twist the screwdriver. And hold on to the mirror, because it might come completely out all at once. And then yeah, just give that screwdriver a twist. And that'll release the clips at the bottom and the sides, and then it'll come right out. 
Yeah, see, this is what you're doing with that screwdriver. You're just putting it right up in here, and then you're twisting it, and that releases these clips at the bottom, and then these come loose automatically, and then these kind of go up into the slots in the mirror itself. Next, we have to take off this surround. To do that, Phillips screwdriver, take out the screw here, one here, and one here. All right, after you get those three screws out, you're gonna find a little clip right here. You need to move that clip down towards that direction, and that will release this surround. Now, it might fight back a little bit at first, but it does come right out. There are some little clips on this side of the mirror holding on this side. So when you pull it off, pull it off like this. After you get the surround off, you want to take out these two screws right here. And you also have a couple little silver clips on this side. Just grab the side of the mirror and pull this way. And that'll release those. Now we have one more screw to take out and that will release the entire uh, stock light and housing. And that's right here at the top. And now we'll just move the back side of the mirror housing back a little bit, grab onto your light, and that comes right out. To put the light in the bracket itself is super easy. Each bracket is marked left hand or right hand side. Uh, the left hand is of course the driver's side. Put the wires down through the hole. Uh, there is a little emblem on the uh, light itself, the KC light. And I'm going to have that at the very bottom. And just push the light in. Take the supplied stainless steel bolt, put it through the front. Put the nut on the back side. After we get that tightened down, we can take this rubber piece and cover up the head of that bolt, just like that. We've got our new lights in. The bracket and the light go right back where the stock one came out. Now we can hook up these wires on our harness, the white and the black one. These are the wires that we need to tie into. They're both yellow with a black stripe on them. I don't know why Toyota doesn't make them different colors. Uh, normally we would have to figure out which one was positive, which was negative, and hook up our LED light accordingly. But with this module right here, we no longer have to do that. We can hook them up either way and they'll still function just fine. You can see on ours, we left these little bits of wire still on because our factory wires are getting too short to splice into again. So here's a short flashback to that other video where we tied these wires into the factory wiring and that'll give you a better idea of what you need to do to yours. Next, we're gonna cut these two wires one at a time, leaving about an inch or so, just in case we wanna put the light back in, which I don't see why, but if you cut it too short, right up against this plug, you're never gonna be able to splice it back in. So leave about an inch, cut them one at a time. Taking this apart down here, just so we can, we have to fish this yellow wire up through into our mirror. Now that this is disconnected and laid back, we can pull this rubber gasket back. This is the gasket that seals it to the door. Pull that back. Now we can take the bare end of that long piece of yellow wire that comes with the kit and put it down through the mirror housing right here and snake it down to here. Right there. Now that yellow wire needs to pass through this rubber gasket to this side. To do that, we take, we have an awl. You can use a, uh, a tiny knife or even a, a nail and poke a little hole in this rubber piece. Just a little one. Then 
take your wire and put it through that. Pull that yellow wire right through. Put that screw back in this harness plug and we are ready to put it on the FJ. We've got the mirror bolted back on and this yellow wire run through into the inside of the door. Now we need to run it way down there. Before I run the wire down along the door, I'm going to make a couple of loops in it up here at the top. That way, when we take the mirror out again, for whatever reason, we'll have a little extra wire here to, uh, to play with so we can get the mirror away from the vehicle. Then I'm going to just run it down along the door and zip tie it to this existing wiring harness. So did you catch my mistake? Luckily I did before I got too far along on this. This yellow wire actually has to go back in here and around this channel that the window goes up and down in. Otherwise, the window won't work. Now we need to get our yellow wire down through here, through here, through this rubber tube, and into the cabin. It's a heck of a lot easier than what it sounds. You might find it easier to take a piece of wire that's a little stiffer than that yellow wire and send it through first. And there's the other end. Now we can go ahead and tape our yellow wire to that stiffer wire. And there's our yellow wire. This side is pretty much done. Now we're going to go to the other side and do the same exact thing. The passenger side mirror light gets wired in exactly like the driver's side here, with the only exception being that wire, that yellow wire from the passenger side, has to come all the way over here to the driver's side. I took another stiff piece of wire wiggled it back behind the dash to the other side, attached the yellow wire from the passenger side, and pulled it through. Now we get to tie those wires into the wiring harness down here in the corner. The place where we have to tie in for the turn signals is right up in here. This right here is where we need to tie in for the turn signals. It might be easier if I take this plug out there this pink wire is going to be for the right side and this blue wire with the white stripe is going to be for the left we're going to tie into those wires behind the dash with these supplied connectors now if you've never used one of these uh, connectors before I'm going to demonstrate for you how to use these uh, on this spare that I had laying around in this extra wire. Uh, you take your existing wire, this is the wire that's up by our fuse box, and you wrap this connector around it on this side. Then we'll take the wire coming from our mirror lights and put it in the other side all the way in until it stops. Now, this little metal thing will act like a knife when we squeeze it down, cut, cutting through the insulation and making that connection. Just like that. Then we can fold this over, and that clips. Okay, it wasn't easy, but I got them tied in to the factory wiring behind the dash. But before we put all this back together, we're going to test them first just to make sure that all the connections are good and I have them hooked up right. Marker lights. Yep. Passenger side turn signal. Yep. Driver side turn signal. Yep.
I really like these. We also have Freedom Retrofit headlights. These are a game changer. Far better control and light output than just simply putting an LED bulb in the factory housings. And Freedom Retrofit can make these totally custom to pretty much whatever you want. Here's a link to that video. We hope you found this video helpful. And consider subscribing to our channel. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.